Hey guys, today we're going to talk about battery bank reserve power. Um, it's obviously a hot topic right now. People are concerned that there may be issues with power losses with the current situation going on. Um, basically, I want to just review some different things as far as setting up your batteries, trying to get the most power out of the batteries as far as the reserve goes, as far as runtime, as far as being able to run as many electronics as possible for the longest period of time. Now, if you're setting up a battery bank system, 12, 24, or even 48 volts, and the system isn't set up properly, there isn't enough wiring between the batteries, there's too much wiring between the batteries, if the connections are not good, if you have too many batteries for the amount of stuff that you're going to be running versus the charge, if you do have solar panels set up or some sort of diesel generator that's going to recharge the batteries, you're not going to want to have too many batteries. Understanding your system is going to be very important so that you get the most out of the batteries. So if you're just going to be running some very emergency, emergency backup stuff, sort of like a fridge or freezer, uh, there's no air conditioning, there's no heating involved in, in your area, um, you're going to want to set up the battery bank accordingly. We do have a battery guide on PowerInverters.com. We're also available if you want to contact us through PowerInverters.com. We can walk you through the different requirements depending on which type of system you're going to be setting up, the different voltages, how to align the batteries. Remember when you're doing the connections, if you're going to be connecting, let's say, 6 volt batteries or 12 volt batteries to create larger voltage systems, you're going to want to run them in series and parallel accordingly so that you don't have things set up improperly. If you ran out and got 20 different batteries and you're going to want to set it up properly because if you damage your equipment on installation everything's going to be at a loss uh, we can help you with that we also have a video showing specific alignments and actual um, i'll actually put it up in this video i'll put you up a system to set up you know parallel systems also uh, series and parallel systems you know if you have let's say multiple six volt batteries let's say you have 36 volt batteries and you're going to want to run them in alignment of sets of two or sets of four depending on 12 or 24 and then run the batteries in parallel from that system creating your battery bank uh, proper alignment um, i'll put those up in the uh, video so that you'll be able to see that um, if there is confusion i know that at this point there's uh probably not a lot of service electricians that's going to be able to be available unless you're in an, a very emergency type situation. So if you're doing it yourself, be careful, contact us. I'd rather walk you through it over the phone versus you guys just trying stuff and, you know, possibly causing damage, possibly causing, you know, sparks or fires, depending on the situation. We don't want anyone getting hurt. So uh, let us know if we can help. We're happy to help and uh, let us know. Thank you. Mm -hmm.